Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. So I feel like it has been a minute since I've done a full weekly vlog. Um, my schedule, you guys, has been so crazy busy this past little while, not only with work, just with like my social life. I feel like I've really just been trying to stay busy and give myself kind of like a vacation in a sense because I've just been working, as you guys know, for the entire time of quarantine. My workload has been like tripled or quadrupled. So I feel like I've been busy, but at the same time, I've just been really giving myself like extra time to relax and do nothing, if that makes sense. So usually I would spend my my free time working or my free time being productive but I've been really trying to just like let myself chill go to the beach and obviously we can't be traveling or anything right now that much so I have just been trying to stay outside stay active and just kind of enjoy the last little bit of summer so speaking of the last few weeks of summer I thought I would do another weekly vlog this week and show you guys what I get up to as per usual but I thought I would kick off this week's vlog with another haul because you guys seem to be loving the hauls that I've been doing like my little haul segments um, on the vlogs um, so I thought I would kick off this weekly vlog with an exciting haul from one of my favorite brands so let's head on over to the office and I'm gonna show you guys the new stuff that I got I swear you guys this is actually like my fifth cup of coffee today you're so weird Pippo just wanted to be in the video. Of course, as per usual. I literally can't deal with her. Okay, so this week's video is in partnership with Nasty Gal. You guys know they're one of my all-time favorite brands. I always shop from them. You can always see me wearing their pieces on Instagram and YouTube and everything. Um, they're just super affordable and just keep up with all of the trends. And I feel like if I'm wanting something that I see in a magazine, I always go to Nasty Gal for like the more affordable version and they always have the trend. So I was very excited to partner up with them once again. You guys know I'm always working with them because they're my favorites. So let's get into the haul. So the first piece is the one that I'm actually wearing and it is this like baby doll style dress. I think it is so cute and super comfortable. Um, it's really flattering, so it's just like easy to throw on. I'm obsessed with it. It has the little peplum bottom and then the little peplum sleeves. Um, and it's just like an easy dress to wear. I feel like I'm going to be wearing it a ton throughout the rest of summer. And then I feel like I could totally style it with some nylons and booties and like layer it up. And it's just like a good basic white dress to have. Um, and I love the length of it. I'm quite short and petite. You guys know I'm like 5'4"-ish. I'm pushing it. I'm like five, three and a half, but like we'll go with five, four. And this dress cuts me off at like the perfect length. I just love the fit of it and I just couldn't be happier with it. So love this basic and I'll have it linked down below. Okay, next up, you guys know me and my band tees. I love graphic tees, band t-shirts. They're like my favorite to sleep in, wear literally everything. Like I just can't get enough of them and I feel like I collect band tees at this point in my life. So they have this super cool Rolling Stones one that is all black and I thought it actually looked very vintage and super close to something that you would actually find at a vintage oh my god Bip, i keep sneezing do you guys hear that so i thought it looked super close to an actual vintage t-shirt which i thought was really cool um and it's just the back of it's that graphic and then the front's basic and just plain and i really love it i got it in a size medium just for like an oversized fit and i feel like i'll probably wear this as a dress with sneakers or just style it with like some boyfriend denim or whatever. It's just like an easy shirt to throw on um, and I think it's just really cool. Next up is another graphic shirt. It's not a band t-shirt, but it is a graphic, graphic, not graphic, graphic, but it is a graphic t-shirt that says anti-social butterfly. And you guys know I'm obsessed with butterflies right now, so I thought it was like the cutest t-shirt to get it's super cute and like summery um it is like the prettiest little baby blue sky blue color um and i got it in a size medium again just for like an oversized look but you guys know i just like love butterflies right now so i really liked that part of it but then i also just like the saying like anti-social butterfly because i feel like in quarantine i've been so anti-social and i've just been like a hermit in my apartment so it was very fitting and it's just like a cute little t-shirt so always love to collect as I said before next up I got some sweatpants that I thought would kind of go really cute with the anti-social butterfly t-shirt and they are these tie-dye oversized 
um, sweatpants that just cuff on the bottom, obviously, and have the jawstring at the top. Super comfortable. Just like a basic pair of sweatpants. And you guys know I own a ton of loungewear, but I honestly don't have any tie-dye sweats that have this color combination. And I just really love these three colors together. So I kind of just was attracted to this like colorway and then to put it with like the anti-social t-shirt would be really cute or just like a white tank top would be really cute as well so always love to collect sweatpants you guys know I just can't get enough I really just can't get enough okay next up we're gonna go into a little bit more of like fashion forward less loungy um, but next up I got this adorable little tie top and it's gonna be easier to see on the try-on portion but it's basically just this little cardigan that ties up in the front um, and it's a super little crop top it's like a knit ivory kind of color and I think it is such an adorable top to have in your closet it just kind of goes with everything I got it in a size zero US zero um, and I probably could have gone up a size it is quite small which I like but I mean if you're wanting to have more coverage I would definitely get a size up on this guy but it's super super cute okay next up I got this pink cardigan and I've actually worn this a few times on Instagram already and so many of you guys were asking where it's from and it is from nasty gals such a cute kind of like a cropped cardigan super oversized the sleeves are kind of like a bell sleeve which I really really like and a pfg knit cardigan is like the ultimate so I love it and like I said I've been styling it like so much already since I got the package like a week ago I think I've worn it like five times so love it and just like such a good cardigan to throw on in your closet next up is another cardigan and this one's a little bit of a different fit it's more of like a daintier um, kind of like a smaller I don't know more fitting I guess you could say but it's kind of like this eyelet knit kind of fabric it's really really pretty super dainty and I feel like would be paired really well with just like a little white tank top underneath um, and I just really really like how it's long sleeve um, but it's more of like a fitted sleeve which I feel like a lot of my cardigans are like super oversized and baggy kind of like this one and I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be <laughs> if I can um, because I wanted it to be like slightly more oversized um, since it's already such a fitted um, style so I really like it though and I think it's going to transition into fall really well okay next up you guys I got these jeans you guys from nasty gal and let me just say they're some of my already all-time favorite jeans in my closet I love the fit of them and if they're still available I'll obviously have them linked down below and if they're still available I would definitely go grab them before they sell out because these guys are like a diamond in the rough I love them and I'm so happy that I got my hands on them I've worn them to death already since I got the package I think I've worn them like five times as well um, and I got them in a size 34 which I believe is a size small um, in nasty gal sizing but again I'll have it linked down below but they're basically these ivory cream denim pants and then on the bottom they have a slit um, right at the ankle which I think is such a cool touch to them and they're just so flattering obviously you'll see them a little bit better in the try on portion but you guys I'm telling you they're such a good pair of denim and I can't wait to keep styling them into fall I think that white jeans or like cream jeans are really fun to style um, during like every season of the year so these guys are definitely going to become a staple in my closet and I hope that they have them in different colors I'm, I'm assuming they would but I'll have them linked down below if they do because highly recommend so last but not least I got a mask so obviously you guys know the pandemic is still a thing it's still going on we have to continue to stay safe and social distance and wear masks and I honestly think that no matter what happens in the future it's totally the unknown but I think that masks are truly gonna be a part of our daily wardrobe now and it's gonna be more so a staple than just something that's like temporary um, so I ended up getting this super cute nude mask from a nasty gal I haven't seen any nude masks so I thought it'd be really cute to style since like I said masks are totally gonna be the new normal um, why not spice it up and get some fun masks to be able to coordinate with your outfits and I honestly really like the masks at nasty gal they fit super well um, as you can see I'll put it on for you so as you can see it actually fits my face perfectly because a lot of the other ones don't fit me perfectly because my face is quite small so if you guys are looking for good smaller masks nasty gal comes through so I think it's super cute and it's just like a good way to wear a basic one just a neutral one to match all of the neutral outfits so I'll have it linked down below as well 
Okay, so that is it for the haul for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As per usual, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. And thank you again to Nasty Gal for partnering up with me on another video. You guys know I love you guys. And also, I know that you guys as an audience love Nasty Gal just as much as I do. So it's always fun partnering up with them and showing you guys my picks from the newest arrivals. Also, I'm pretty sure that Nasty Gal gave me a discount code. So I'll have the discount code as well linked down below for you guys to use. They always have like the best deals, but it's always nice to save some extra money, especially with like back to school and everything. So um, yeah, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to get back to work on my computer for a little bit. Like I said, I'm just like playing catch up today. That's usually what my Monday looks like anyways. Um, but I'm gonna get back to work and I will chat with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I wanted to update you guys on some home decor. I guess it's kind of home decor, but I picked myself up a TV, finally. I don't know why, but a TV just wasn't a priority for me. So I didn't want to like rush anything or get any TV that I like wasn't excited about. And I honestly didn't really know where I wanted to put it in the apartment. Um, but over the weekend, I was at Best Buy and I was like, you know what? I've been wanting a TV this whole time. Why don't I have one yet? So I decided to get one and it is here, just came. And I unboxed it and everything. Um, but I'm still not sure if I want to mount it on my bedroom wall or I want to keep it here in the living room. So I'm just keeping it here for now to just kind of see the vibes. See if I'm into it I'd probably put like a little console here like a mini small one and then I would lift up the TV slightly um, but the only problem with that is that it would kind of like hide the view I guess a little bit um, and just like the golden hour will be you know blocked a little bit by the TV which is just you guys know my golden hour I need my golden hour um, so the other option is to go into the bedroom and put it on this wall right here directly in front of the bed and then obviously I can sit there watch movie nights in bed and watch on the screen like in front of me so it's just kind of a debate right now whether it should be in the bedroom or the living room and I asked you guys on Instagram stories and most of you said the bedroom because we can do like the ultimate movie nights if we had it in the bedroom it's just so comfortable and fun to watch like Netflix and Disney Plus um, from your bed so I'm kind of debating right now I'm gonna take the next 24 hours to discuss and figure out what the best plan is but I thought I would show you guys the TV that I got because I asked you guys on Instagram stories for your advice on which TV would be best to get um, and a lot of you guys said uh, oh my God, but, and a lot of you guys said to get the Samsung because apparently it has the best quality or whatever um, and I got a 50 inch Samsung smart TV so it has like Netflix Disney Plus all that good stuff um, and I thought it was like the perfect size to either put here or in the bedroom to weather weather depending on which one I want to choose so and I'm definitely going to be properly setting it up and like putting in my Netflix and my Disney Plus and everything so I can actually use it um, this week so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on this vlog and I'll bring you guys along for the rest of the vlog to let you guys know what I end up doing with her, but she's here, it's very exciting. Okay, good morning you guys, it is the next day, and today I am actually headed to the grocery store, so I thought I would bring you guys along. I spent the whole morning cleaning up the apartment, I currently have some laundry going, I washed my bed sheets, um, and I just kind of tidied up the apartment, it's kind of one of those days, um, and then I changed into this cute little dress, which I actually wore in my last vlog i think when i got my car i wore this dress but i never ended up shooting it so i'm maybe gonna shoot that tonight but first i wanted to go ahead to the grocery store because since i did like a full clean out i cleaned out the fridge and all that good stuff and like threw away stuff that was like going bad or whatever so i'm gonna go head to whole foods and just like walk over and get some sunshine get some fresh air um get out of the house and do some grocery shopping but I wanted to update you guys, so I put the extra um, stool here because I so showed you guys in the last vlog that they only sent one for some reason. They ended up sending separately, um, and it turns out the other one's delayed, and that's why that whole thing happened. So I'm just going to put it here for now for when I have like friends over or whatever. It'll be extra seating, um, and then right now I'm just using the old... Um, stools just because why not it has extra seating um, but I actually think it looks kind of cute so if I were to find a chair that's similar to this obviously lower um, I think it would really tie in the whole room now that I can kind of like visualize it all but anyways I thought I would just show you guys because little update it just makes me really want to get a chair here so let me know if you guys can think of any cute chairs that would kind of tie in the whole vibe 
So I obviously need a mask for the grocery store and my good friend actually sent me a ton of handmade masks because she has a little business. I'll have the Instagram. I think I've mentioned it on the blogs before, um, but she sent me, you guys, look at this. She sent me so many masks look at this how insane is that like literally a mask for every occasion you can even think about so there's like floral ones there's tie-dye ones there's the designer dust bag ones that she loves to make as well we got some silk ones so needless to say i'll never need a mask ever again in my life maybe i'll do a giveaway for you guys or something let me know if that interests you but um i'm just gonna pick out a mask for today that matches my outfit so i'm obviously wearing the purple little dress so I think I might wear, I have a purple mask, purple little tie-dye mask. I think that'd be cute. Or I could do like floral on floral. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the purple. I think the purple goes cute. Okay, cute. <laughs> like I mentioned in my nasty gal haul, masks are going to be like an important staple in our wardrobe now. So I honestly find it super fun to get a ton of different like fun masks. Um, that you can play around with your outfits like this like matching it um, Because honestly, I feel like this is just gonna be a normal thing from now on and it's just gonna be a staple in our wardrobe So why not? Look cute while doing it you guys What do we think? Obviously, it's not about looks that's not the point but if we're gonna be wearing masks anyways, like why not look cute, you know? Hello Okay Okay, so outfit of the day dress is from Realization Par. Um, it's so cute, I love it. And then um, the mask is from Elsie May Boutique. Okay, bye. Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store. So I thought I would give you guys a little grocery haul um, because I know all of you guys are always interested and seeing what I get. So this one was a little bit of a quick shop. Um, it was a little bit random, honestly. Um, I'm having a few friends over tonight, so I also got some like snacks and stuff for that. So it's kind of like a random haul. It's not like my usual grocery haul. Um, but anyways, I'll show you anyways. So first thing I got was bread, and I tend to usually get bread for like avocado toast um, and stuff like that in the mornings, because that's usually my breakfast in the morning. I love avocado toast. Um, and then I got a ton of snacks, so I got some chips, some pirate booty. If you guys know me, you know I love pirate booty. It's so good. Um, I also got some uh, tortilla chips because I'm going to do that with guac. And I also got some flat um, pretzels, which are so good. If you guys haven't tried these, they're so good. They're just like really good with like cheese boards and all that good stuff. I also ended up getting some cheese, some olives for the cheese board that I'm going to make tonight. And then I also got some guac and salsa for the tortilla chips. Um, I also got some more cheese. This one's actually a vegan cheese because one of my friends um, are vegan. So I ended up getting like a vegan brie, which I enjoy vegan food as well. So I'm excited to try it and see if it's good. I also got some smart sweets. And you guys, Smart Sweets are like my favorite candies right now. They're so freaking good. Um, so I ended up getting all four flavors because some of my friends haven't tried them yet. And I'm getting like all of my friends hooked on them because they're so good. Um, so I got all four flavors of Smart Sweets. And then I got some cherries just for like some fresh fruit. So I always love to just like snack on cherries. And then for more fruit, I got some bananas, which I'll put right there. And then I also got some nectarines, which I also love to snack on. Um, it's like one of my favorite snacks, just like cut up some nectarines and have those. And then I also got some <laughs> Two Bears coffee, because you guys know I talked about it in, I think, the last vlog. And I also talked about it on my Instagram stories, but I'm obsessed with this coffee right now. It's basically just like coffee in a can, and it's so good. It's with oat milk, which is delicious. And then I also got some carrots for the charcuterie board. And then I also got some more cheese. And then last but not least, I got a lemon. And then I also got two ginger shots, um, just for like health, you know, you know how it is. Anyways, that was my grocery haul. Super random and super small, but um, I just had to like pick up a few things for tonight and just for like the rest of the week. Okay, 
so like I said, I'm having a few friends over and I already tidied up the apartment, but I haven't vacuumed yet, so I'm gonna do a quick vacuum. And you guys know, if you watch the vlogs and you know I'm obsessed with my Dyson vacuum and it's so therapeutic for me to vacuum, so I'm very excited too. But I'm gonna put you guys on a little time lapse. You guys can watch me vacuum. <laughs> morning you guys so it is the next day and yesterday I told you guys I was gonna mount my TV and um, so some of my friends came over Kirstie's here Becky's here um, but some of my friends came over last night to try to help me mount my TV and it was very unsuccessful because we didn't have the right parts and it turned out to being just like more complicated than we thought so hopefully that's gonna happen maybe tomorrow maybe my dad's gonna come over and help um, but I have a few clips of them trying to do it it was really funny but anyways so this morning we're actually gonna be going on a hike me and Beck are going on a hike. Chrissy has to do some errands. Super fun. Um, but first, we're getting some flowers for our best friend who is writing her MCAT tomorrow. And she's been studying all summer long. Nicola, you guys know her. She's the one who does my laser. And she's going to be writing her test tomorrow, which is so exciting. And she's been working so hard. So we're going to surprise her with some flowers. Woo! And she's just going to be finishing up all of her studies and everything tomorrow. So it's a very exciting day for her tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do, and then me and Beck are gonna go on a hike. And then I think we're gonna just like chill at the pool all day. I don't really know, but I'll take you guys along the day and see what we get up to. the goods we just got the flowers and the goodies um and if you guys are wondering why Kirstie and becky both have been driving my car this morning it's because i got a kink in my neck last night and i can't properly turn my head to the right so it just probably wouldn't be safe for me to drive so the girls are getting to drive pf jeep oh my god it's so touchy do you love yeah. her oh my god do you love she her i love her how does it feel so nice so stunning <laughs> she is great but she is touchy she Very. is i know it's she's sensitive but she drives well, she drives smooth. Okay, so it is a lot later in the evening now, and we're actually going to one of our best friend's little birthday dinner. There's only maybe a few of us there, but um, we're gonna go celebrate her and have a good night. So we changed after the pool, obviously redid my makeup and showered and like did my hair and everything. Um, and I'm just wearing like jeans and a cute top, but um, yeah, we're just headed there now. We're gonna pick up our other two friends on the way. And it is literally such a beautiful night tonight, so hopefully we get some good weather. There's Kirsty looking stunning. There she is. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head there now. Should I drive? I can drive. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna head there now. And we have all the birthday stuff in the back. Can you even see why it's so dark? We have all the birthday balloons. We got some birthday decor. We're good to go. 
Okay, so it has been a little bit. It is the next day, obviously, um, and it's actually the evening. I didn't vlog all day just because I was honestly taking like a chill day off, and I didn't really do much. Um, I just kind of enjoyed the sunshine, um, but I'm currently on my way to pick up Kirsty um, because she's actually flying out to Toronto tomorrow. She lives in Toronto, and our other friend Freya lives in London. Oh, this camera. Um, they're both flying out, so they were here for the summer, obviously, because of COVID, they had to move home um, to like quarantine and stuff but they're headed back tomorrow and it is beyond sad because um, we've had such a fun summer but they need to go home at some point right so they're headed home tomorrow so we're actually getting a hotel at the airport tonight and we're gonna do like a girls night and have a spa night just to kind of say goodbye and just kind of have like a fun last night while they're in town um, so I'm driving Freya and Kirstie to the airport tonight and then also which is very exciting Sophie you guys know Sophie is flying into town tomorrow so so when Kirstie and Freya fly out um, Sophie's flying in and she's gonna be staying with me for a week so it's a super exciting week coming up and I'm sure I'm gonna be vlogging it it'll definitely be a part of the next vlog um, but it's gonna be very exciting because Sophie's coming into town and she's gonna be staying at my apartment she hasn't seen my apartment yet so it's just gonna be such a fun way to end summer but yeah, anyways I'll definitely take you guys along that on the next vlog but anyways so tonight we're headed to the hotel and then tomorrow morning we get Sophie so I'm just picking up Kirsty now I literally just showed up at her house and we're gonna get her suitcase and everything in the car and head over to the airport is in town she's here the queen has arrived as you guys saw um, me and my two girlfriends we slept at the Fairmont last night at the airport um, and then I picked Sophie up bright and early this morning and she's in town for a week which is super exciting so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be vlogging the entire week while she's here yeah. but I may be doing like a daily vlog or maybe a weekly vlog to be determined um, but I thought I would end this vlog here so then I can start a new one um, for what kind of what we get up to this week um, but I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching another vlog and we're so excited that Soph's in town we're gonna be doing some super fun things it'll be fun um, we have some very exciting plans and we have a lot of food to eat places to see things to do things to do all the things um, but we're so tired and <laughs> falling we, over. No, literally we're so tired, but I wanted to hop on here and the vlog tell you I love you and we're gonna go to sleep now. So Love you guys and see, see you, you in the next, next vlog. Okay. Bye. See you in the next vlog <laughs>